the game, a video by, done by our guest who's currently seated in the studio all the way from The Voice Nigeria. The first season, we bring you Cornell, who is going to come and sing us out of the show today. Uh, well, first of all, share his story and his journey with us. Thank you very much for joining us. Welcome you think Cornel. we'll let you know without allowing you at least do a little adjust for wow. the road? One for the road. Uh, no, no, no issues with that. Good all. to have you. Same here. I'm so very honored to be here. Oh, it's a pleasure yes, to have yes, you as yes, well. Yes, Thank um, you so much. Let's look at your journey to The Voice, your journey from The Voice. Was that the first reality show you were participating oh, in? Oh, not at all. I've, Brilliant. I've, uh, I've been doing competitions for a long, long time. And I'm asking I this because many people just go to try for an audition once and it doesn't work out. Or someone does comes from an audition, maybe one of the musical auditions, and they blow, quote unquote. And they're like, oh, where did this person come from? But they don't realize the work that has been going on behind the scenes. So let's get to see all the work that was going on behind the scenes before The Voice. Oh, wow. Um, I remember I started um, going for competitions from 1999. Mm. Yes. I started singing professionally in 1998. And um, the first one I did, I remember that year, I was just, my hands, I was just shaking the microphone because I was scared and everything. Then I think in, in the year 2000, I went for a karaoke competition. And I won the competition. Then um, 2001, two, three, something would just come up and I don't know, let's go and try this one and see how far we'll go with this. And then the major one that, um, that dropped my, would I say my name out a little bit was in 2006 when I won StarQuest. That was the, the edition after the one Casey Press won. That's the first band. So I led the band to win that year. Uh, the name of the band is Dakor. And then... After then, uh, when I was, you know, in school at that time, so I was also focused on finishing school. And after then, we split. Then everybody started doing their own thing. I've, I've, I've always been, music has always been passion for me all, all the way. So um, till I heard of the voice and um, should I go, should I not go, should I go, should I not go? I had just asked a mentor of mine and said, ah, do you think I should try this again? And he said, okay, I don't know, why don't you go, go, go. And this is different, this is international, this, the brand is strong, you know, it's been done everywhere, so why don't you just try? And, um, and I did, and then the rest is uh, history, as they say. So, <laughs> so far, how has the music industry, you know, accepted Cornell? Oh, I would say, I would say um, the industry is really, 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 I would say, um, I'm part of the industry, and um, it's tough. I won't lie, it's quite tough. But I'm somebody who's passionate about what he does. So um, I'm ready to be here until I drop, basically. So it doesn't even matter if I make a hit or not, but only being happy doing what I'm doing, being happy, being impactful. Um, you just heard, you just watched um, Smile Again. Um, that was... Actually, originally, I wrote that song for Nigeria, you know. Um, I only changed the chorus um, at some point when I, when I recorded it, uh, you, know, you know, to fit into other countries. That's why, because, you know. But for me, I'm just passionate about what I do. So it doesn't, it's not about what comes in. I'm not totally, although, of course, because um, it's full-time. I do it full-time, so um, that's what puts food on the table for me and my family. But... Uh, it's more passion. It's more of passion for me than than uh, doing that thing that everybody, every bandwagon wants to do. Wants you know, to I was I was going to ask you. Your your answer just <laughs> answers my next question because I was yeah. going to ask you yeah. if you nurse the fear of not making it, quote unquote, in the music industry before coming in. But now, basically, you're already saying that you don't mind doing this regardless of whether you make a yes. hit or not yes. until it's, the day you drop. It's that I think that's a driving force for me. That's what has kept me. So many of my contemporaries, or let me put it that way, they've actually left, you know, to do something else. You know, there was a friend of mine who chatted me up like two, two days ago and said, oh, dude, are you still here? Are you still doing stuff? I, I said, oh, man, I don't have anywhere to go, you know. And um, for me, uh, all the while, um, I've been blessed with um, being exposed to different um, you know, music is not just performance. Yeah, I studied music in school, so I, I teach um, both in you know private schools, and I, I teach people how to sing. And um, I've been a choir leader for 
um, 20 years. So um, I'm grounded. So it's, 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 it's not totally about um, recording and performing, you having a song out there and all that. I do other areas of music, so that's what has been sustaining me. But of course, you know, just to keep the brand up there and, you know, you need to do something, do your own thing, create your own brand, create your identity, create your music that uh, would last um, eternity. And Absolutely. of course, he has spoken so passionately about his love for music and what he does. For someone to say that he doesn't mind doing this if he doesn't get paid, in this day and age, when we are thinking of money, <laughs> we should understand the passion with which he does what he does. So take a look at Cornell performing at The Voice Nigeria. We have a short clip mm. of you during the competition. Let's check it out. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Wait, Wait a minute. A minute. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what it took you to prepare for that performance. And on a normal day, what does it take you? What is the creative process and the behind the scenes mm. that goes into preparing for a performance? Uh, so many things, so many things. Starting um, from this one. Though. Okay, now for this one, um, um, from the time I've ever heard the song, I had really loved the song. So when it, I had the opportunity to choose, I said, no, no, I, I want to do something different in this song. If you listen to the short clip now, there was something that wasn't actually in the original, in the original thing. That, that's me owning the, the song, and that's basically what I do with my performances. If I'm doing a cover of, of any, any musician, I try to put the Cornell factor in it, put my identity in it, put what I stand for in it, you know? And um, that's exactly what um, has kept me on. And um, when I write, too, same thing, I try to ensure that there is this something that you would notice in every song that I write here, you know, basically. Mm. Okay, well, I'm actually, was, I was going to ask you something first, you know, still concerning music. Okay. How did you move from being a very wonderful church guy to this wonderful secular musician? Uh, the thing is, I've not left church all. Mm, okay. Um, first of all, I performed at the Unusual Praise that just ended. Okay. Um, I will never leave church. I am a Christian by 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 um, by religion, and I happen to be a musician, you know. So, and I started from the church. I, the church molded me to be to be the musician that I am. But of course, you know, at some point, you want to get exposed. You want to do something else. You want to move out. And I'm Catholic, so there are so many things that the Catholic Church won't um, um, push you out totally to do. But nowadays, it's been it's been fantastic. You know, for us to have like the unusual praise. Yeah, I saw that they brought Sissy Wine. Was it Sissy Winers? Yeah. And some other yeah, people were like, yeah, whoa, yeah, you got to give yeah, it up to these yeah, guys. Yeah. I was so, so, so to see um, that. We're, we're taking a path, not following exactly what is trending, but, you know, identifying with the fact that we're all one. We're all, we all serve the same God. We all um, love God and um, love good music. So, basically. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us, Cornell. How can people follow you on social media? Um, Facebook, Cornelius Oga, um, then Instagram and Twitter, Cornell Sings. Ah, uh, okay, I've yeah. seen that. <laughs> yeah, Cornell Sings, okay. Before we wrap up the show, let's find out what's happening today in history. And today in history marks the International Migrants Day. The International Migrants Day is observed on 18th of December in accordance with resolution 5393 of the United Nations General Assembly. Adopted on the 4th of December, it is annually held on December 18th. And also, it marks the United Nations Arabic Language Day. Okay. That's all we have today. Okay, it's time for us to wrap up the show. And we're wrapping it up with Cornell's new music. Remember, you can follow us on social media. Follow Esther at Esther. Esther Wangwa underscore official. And you can follow me at Olive Emody. We'll be wrapping up with Cornell's new song. Tell us about the new song and what inspired you to write it. Oh, yeah. Um, it's entitled African Nigerian Christmas. Um, I was just thinking, okay, this is the season. What can I do differently? Um, um, I thought about while I was growing up, um, the way we cherish Christmas, Christmas shoes, Christmas cloths. If you listen to the lyrics, you hear, um, I, I went I went low, I went very, very In low. In fact, I'm sure know. we should actually listen yeah. to the song. Oh, yes. And oh, yeah. get you, to... Need to, you need to listen to the song. It's unique. It's, you know, it preaches love, unity, our food, the way we say uh, Merry Christmas mm. in different languages. I performed the song in a couple of places, and I tell the crowd that 
And I turn to your neighbor and tell the person, Merry Christmas in your language. No, nah, I don't know how we are saying it in my language. <laughs> so let's check out Cornell's video, Merry Christmas. Um, um, we'll African, African Nigerian, Nigerian Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. So we'll be saying Merry Christmas next week. And who knows, we might be playing it again. But for now, enjoy this. We'll be back again tomorrow. Bye-bye. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.